Welcome to Gasp Lab 64-bit. Uh, here we're going to talk a little bit about the, the cameras that we use and what you're capable of receiving. Um, we're going to look at the force plates that, that, that we use and the data that we glean from those items and look at some of the additional um, products that we integrate with. So first of all, let's start with the video. We really support cameras now for multi-camera capture up to the camera camera's capability. In our 32-bit program, you had to reduce the amount of frames that you captured when you start to start to add more cameras, just through the data restriction of a 32-bit program. But this is no longer the case with 64-bit. So if you're using a camera that is capable of capturing 750 frames a second, you will capture 750 frames per second from multiple cameras now. Okay. If, uh, for example, you wanted to capture in HD, you'd be looking at around about 250 frames per second of capture. So that's, that's the video side. The video side and all of the data are now automatically synchronized. So it doesn't really matter what data you're capturing, um, whether it's 3D data, pressure data, force data, it's all perfectly synchronized without any editing whatsoever. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit about um, our new pressure plates. So the pressure plates, as you can see in the video here, uh, measuring what happens to each foot individually. Now, because we're measuring what each individual foot does, that gives us some added benefits. We're also able to calculate the center, horizontal center of mass movement. So you'll see in the force cop com window here, we have two traces. We have the red trace, which is the center of pressure, and we have the blue trace as we move through the swing, which is the center of mass. Okay. Now, because we capture the center of mass and we have the information from both feet, we're able to show a force vector. So I think currently we're the only video analysis system that enables you to do this. Uh, we can also then calculate the moment arm and, of course, the torque. So an important thing here is we're using the center of mass okay to work out the torque in a golf swing okay so there are other systems out here which measure torque and rotational forces but they don't use the center of mass the center of mass is ultimately changing through every frame in the golf swing so therefore the torque value is changing and it's not something that we calculate using the center of the force plates so we're also taking from this information vertical forces so for example you can see in the graph on the right that we're reaching our maximum vertical force on the right foot at the top of the backswing. And of course, our, our left foot is on weighting in this particular image here, and you can see the percentages. We also have uh, the horizontal around the left and around the right positions, as well as the combined rotational force. And then we have a force stats window, which tells us the information of what we're looking for, particularly in torques and also uh, how many newton meters uh, are being used. So we can see the percentage increase and decreases. We're measuring accurately in newtons um, as we go up and down as well. Um, from vertical, we also have uh, toe to heel force, as we can see here, and right to left force. So we can see here that our right to left force is at its max here. So as I'm starting to push into the downswing, I'm starting to peak with my right to left force. So we've also integrated KVS, not only the graphs, so we've got the kinematic sequence and the hip angles and the upper body angles, you can see here. We've also got that form in numbers. Now, as I'm only using the 3D system here, we don't get any transitional metrics, which you would do if you're using the 6D. And we can see as we move the video along that these numbers are moving as the video is moving. So not great impact mechanics there. Sorry to say. So we're also collecting data from your favorite launch monitor, and then we're displaying that here. We also have uh, another window here, which of course you can use the tiles. And just like anything you can in Gasp Lab, you can move any window anywhere. So you can effectively design your own look and feel, okay? You can even move and spread this across to various windows. So there's a brief overview. So we're capturing from launch monitors, 3D, and a dual force plate measuring vertical vectors. And we're also measuring horizontal force and rotational force around the center of mass. So that's a very different system that's currently on the market at the moment.